In this short video, we'll touch on the main elements of QuickShow. At first glance, QuickShow looks like a simple live control program where people can activate laser cues by simply clicking on them and then control them live in the live control section. QuickShow also offers the ability to trigger multiple cues at the same time. And QuickShow offers the ability to control the size and position and color and many other elements of each queue separately. With this laser show still going on, let's create some new queues and add some to the workspace. We'll start with quick text. Simply type in some text, choose a color, and pick from one of the many text effects. Once we get it looking the way we want, we can either show it now or drag and drop it to a queue for use later in the workspace. To create shapes, we'll use the Quick Shape tool. This allows you to choose a base shape, then modify it to create waves, loops, and other figures that are common in audience scanning and overhead beam effects. The shapes can easily be adjusted and augmented in the Effect Editor section. And shapes can be made up of continuous lines or dots. Liquid sky and virtual grading effects have never been easier. We can either show it now or drag and drop it to a queue for later use. Oftentimes, clients come to us with a logo that they want to see in laser. For this reason, QuickShow has a built-in auto tracer. Simply load the image in any format, including BMP, instantly turns it into laser graphics. Now let's edit this image with the built-in frame and animation editor. We'll resize the original logo, add some text to it, resize the text, and now we'll select the original image, resize it a little bit, and what we could do is we can warp it around a bit with the warping tool. To create an animation, we can use one of the built-in effects, such as a write-out effect. Automatically creates all the in-between frames for us, as you can see. And we can either show it now, or click OK to save it in the queue. Quick Show is not only for live control, but it also includes a full-featured timeline-based show creation system. We can load in a music file. drag and drop cues directly onto the timeline, stretch them out, Quick Show supports an unlimited number of tracks, and we can easily do cross-fading effects by simply dragging on the handles on each end of the event. We'll add one more track to it just to show that they can overlap in time. And we'll add the crossfading effect to here as well. So we'll play back the show like this. And we can either show it now Or we can drag and drop it to a queue for later use. 
Notice that we've done all of this while our original laser show is playing undisturbed. Let's take a look at the quick effects section, which allows us to add layers of effects on top of existing content. We'll grab something rather boring, such as this white square. And then we'll add uh, some color on top of that, such as a blue to violet mix. Add some chop to it. And then we'll triple it and wrap it onto a sphere. In addition to Quick Tools, Quick Show has full featured advanced tools as well, such as an advanced text editor, advanced abstract generator, and the ability to make digital clocks, analog clocks, and even countdown clocks. Other advanced tools are also included. Over the past six minutes, we've barely scratched the surface of what can be done with Quick Show. For a more in depth view, see the Quick Show tutorial videos located on the Pangolin website.